How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here for some Black Ops domination and in this game I'm actually being very, very aggressive. Uh, well, I say very, very. To me it's more aggressive than I usually play, especially with a sniper. Um, well, that's not true actually because I do generally play quite aggressive, but for someone using a sniper I don't usually play anywhere near this aggressive. Um, at least it felt fairly aggressive to me. I I was sniping pretty well uh, the day I got this gameplay. It's uh, it's not the most amazing gameplay. It's just you know it, I liked it and I hope you like it too. But that's not even why I'm here to talk about. Um, I'm here to talk about just uh, something general. You know, uh, summer is pretty much done with. What's the date today? Let me see. The 10th of September. And as soon as September comes around, it's pretty much the end of summer. Um, at least it always has felt that way for me. Uh, some people still are off. Don't ugh, don't go back to whatever they're doing for a little while. Mostly people going to university because um, some universities don't start until like mid September, late September. Uh, I know like for the first years, freshers is usually like halfway through September towards the end. And um, what am I trying to say? And uh, for those in like second and third years, it's usually around the end of September and the beginning of October. It depends on the university, really, but um, it pretty much means playtime is over. Or is it? Because, you know, although it seems like you've got all the free time in the world during summer um, and playtime is on and you're pretty much going back to school or work now and it feels like it's not over, it's actually kind of the opposite because playtime is fully much engaging because this is around the time we're reaching the fourth quarter of the year and this is when all the games will start to come out and um, it'll be super fun times for those in the gaming industry and those who are very much into their games like myself. Uh, because, you know, through the summer there wasn't much coming out, there was, in fact, there wasn't really a game at all out, and uh, it, it became quite, kind of boring or repetitive to play the same games over and over again. It was good I had my PC, because I could kind of, like, play certain games I hadn't played before and keep myself busy. Um, so that was always a bonus. But, in general, not many new games coming out. It was just thanks to the Steam sale that I managed to keep somewhat sane. Um... But yeah, summer's done. Loads of new games coming out, you know. A couple of games came out this week and last week. And uh, they're going to continue to do that from until like December time and then on through into next year. Um, we will see lots of new games. And uh, since summer's pretty much coming to a close, I've been trying to get out as much as possible. You know, you're like, oh yeah, you've got plenty of time to go and do this or that. And then it comes down to it and you're like, oh fuck, we're going back to school soon. What do we do? Panic time. Let's go out somewhere. Let's um, let's do stuff. Let's go run around naked in the streets and stuff. And I'm like, um, may have taken that a bit too far. But anyway, I, <laughs> you know, I've been going out. I've been going to my clubs. been hanging with my boys. Uh... My IRL buddies, you know, I went to Gamescom in Germany, I went to COD XP in LA, and uh, after those two trips, what was looking like a very dire summer for me has turned into a pretty good summer. Um, I'm not going to lie, I met loads of legends from uh, YouTube. I felt like if I didn't meet these certain people that I did meet while I was at COD XP, um, I don't know, I couldn't go through life knowing these people online and talking to them so regularly, but not ever meeting them. It... It, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. It's kind of like you hear these voices every day, but you don't really know what they're like in person. You haven't met them in person. It's kind of weird. Um, so I felt like I had to at some point do it, and conveniently such an event came along for me. That should have been a collateral. Fucking Urgh, collateral. But yeah. And yesterday I actually went to the casino for the first time. I haven't been to a casino, and uh, casinos are very different over in England compared to like those in the US. Uh, although they're the same kind of general thing. They're not anywhere near as big or fancy or crazy, you know. The ones in Vegas I hear are quite outstanding and the ones you see in the movies are pretty fucking grizz, let's be honest. Um, so I went there, I, sp I, I went in with the intention that I'm gonna lose money basically. That's how I kind of like gamble. I think might as well just go for it. Let's see what happens. Uh, first tenor I put into the roulette machine, well it was a machine, it was like a live roulette thing downstairs but because there's so much crowdage going on. They had some machines placed around the casino that you could just get on there and do it without really being uh, too much uh, involved with the crowds and stuff. 
so yeah, my first £10 went pretty quickly, and then the second one, I held out for quite a while, like, just keeping it around the £10 zone, then it all went to shit, I ended up on my last 25p, and I stuck it on 25, which is the number I was playing it all night, every time, um, because it's my, the day of my mom's birthday. And I stuck it on 25, and what do you know, it came up 25, and I won my £9 back, so I was back on pretty much even, and then uh, I went on from there to get all my get into a profit of one pound <laughs> i just stuck all the remaining money i was like what's the time and then everyone goes like oh it's 2 30 why and i was like sticking it all on black <laughs> and black came up got all my money back and i was quite a happy little boy um some of my mates you know they cleared house some of them didn't quite clear house as much as others but it was a it was a funny evening so it was good to get that kind of uh chance to go and do something that i haven't done before and check it out and I will. I would love to go again and do it. It seems like a fun thing, and next time I'll hopefully try out some other games like Craps or Blackjack. Uh, might even get into the poker, but some big boys intimidate me in the poker. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got two games the other day, m yesterday even to be exact, and uh, those were Dead Island and Madden 12. You know, I I put up a Madden 11 video a little while ago. Um, and I, I did say I love it. I do enjoy NFL. Uh, Dead Island is a fucking amazingly fun game. It's so funny if you're playing it online. It might not be as great if you're playing by yourself, but still worth the the game uh, itself. It's kind of like Borderlands, but zombies are trying to eat you and kill you. And it's pretty damn fun, especially online with all your buds. Um, so yeah... Those are the two games I've got recently. I'm going to get loads of others. Like, Gears 3 comes out in a few weeks. You know, Battlefield comes out next month. Even the Battlefield beta, I think it's releasing the 27th of September. So that should be fun. I'll do some videos on that. Um, I tried to do some <laughs> Ultimate Team Journey for Madden, but I suck at that game. Like, the first game, uh, the guy got disconnected from the server before it even started. So I got an instant win. And I was like, yay! And then the second game, I got destroyed. Something like 40 to 0. I just couldn't do it because my team was not that great. Like, I'm, I'm a bad player. And then if you give me a bad team, it's just... <laughs> it's not going to end well, even uh, if I was... Well, I'm I'm just shit basically at <laughs> the game, so uh, <clears throat> it didn't end very well. And uh, like literally a minute from the end of the game, he got disconnected from the servers, and I was lolling quite badly. So I was two and zero up, and then I was playing a guy who was about the same skill level as me, but uh, I took the lead, and then he came back and he was winning, and then I got disconnected from the uh, the servers. So it's kind of a bit of karma, but whatever. It's just how it works. Um, I've also been contemplating doing that. I did a couple of videos a while back called Buy, Rent, and P or Pass, where I kind of like gave a mini review of the game. But I might do them, start making it a proper series, and um, do a more in depth one of it, you know, like make it more professional. Because there's going to be a lot of games coming out. Not everyone's got the money that uh, others have, so it'd be nice to have a little Buy, Rent, or Pass kind of thing to say whether you should stay away from this game or get it. That's just something to contemplate. I want you to let me know if you think I should do that. I hope you all had a great summer, and I hope you're doing well at school. And for those going off to new schools, I wish you the best of luck, and I will speak to you all later. Peace out.